doing the right thing and doing the wrong thing are not transferable to other people for praise or punishment. We live in a world where the bad decisions of parents often have repercussions on the lives of their children and where the bad decisions of grown children often create chaos in the lives of parents. Simultaneously, in the church, we have lived as though our parents' and spiritual forebears' faith will be enough to sustain and save us, and that our faith will be enough to cover our children as well. But Ezekiel casts a different vision of the world. He says that our faith and righteousness, or lack thereof, is our own. We are accountable for what we do, for good or for ill, in the life of faith. That doesn't mean that we will not have to deal with the worldly repercussions of the decisions of others, for both good and ill. But it does mean that in the eyes of the Lord, we are held accountable for our actions and decisions. How do we respond to what happens to us in our life? Do we respond in faith and righteousness or in rebellion and chaos?